Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, and it is a beautiful day outside. I hope that you get a chance to go and enjoy some time outside today. As we get ready for story time, I want to let you all know that there will be no live story times next week, but we will do some reruns of stories that I have done over the last two months. So if you have a favorite that you would like to see us do a rerun on, please let us know in the comments. Then um, I will be back to doing story time when I'm back from vacation the following week. So just wanted you all to know, reruns next week. Today I have a story that was given to me by a member of our church, a Gail Christensen, and the story was actually written by a friend of her mom. Her mom's name is Sally DeShetler, and the story was given to her by, by the author of this book. The author's name is Jane Strosian, and she's also the illustrator of this book. So she wrote the words and drew the pictures in this story. And the story is called The Cloudy Day. Now I know it's not cloudy out there today, it's sunny, but we're gonna read about the cloudy day and I'm gonna say something about it when we're all done. So again, the story is The Cloudy Day that is written and illustrated by Jane Strosian. She even signed the book for Sally. As Laura and Brian went outside to play, they knew something special would happen that day. Their eyes searched the sky. There was so much to see above the old fence near the gnarled oak tree. Huge clouds pushed by wind, how they moved and then changed, billowing, blowing, and building. How strange. See there, a plump puppy who sat near his dish, turned into a dragon, making a wish. And there, a fine lion with a powerful yawn became all at once a tree hiding a fawn. A hairy round giant who counted his loot changed into a fat bear removing his boot. Across the green field in a faraway place were terrible, huge monsters running a race. A small, hungry gray mouse nibbling cheese looked now like three crows on an elephant's knee. A turtle, a rabbit, a rat, and raccoon were tagging each other above the lagoon. When a feathery lady riding a snail changed into a lizard that tickled a whale. As the sky grew all cluttered with shapes of gray, a distant rumble interrupted the play. Clouds tumbled along and flew quickly on by. Some were low and long, some were round and quite high. More billowing shapes came to join the parade. The sun was all gone and the earth all in shade. When some frolicking fish playing chase 
with a plane made this cumulus fun turn into soft rain. So Laura and Brian went inside to play. They'd watch their friends on the next cloudy day. The end. So again, a special shout out to Gail and to her mom, Sally, for sharing this book with us today. And I think it's a beautiful day for you to go outside and to look up in the sky and look at the clouds and see all kinds of animals and all kinds of shapes. Go out with your family or your moms and dads and find all kinds of shapes in the sky today. And if you want, you can send me a message and tell me all the great things that you saw. So have a wonderful day. We will be back here again tomorrow at 10 o'clock with Storytime with Pastor Robin. Have a great day. Bye.